where you're going to be talking about from photo to time lapse gen ai brings landscapes to life i'll go to my photos and this is a photo that i took on the tour du mont blanc let me show you something cool i will export one photo i'm gonna go to adobe firefly so you'll click here and then you want to create with firefly and then i'm clicking on image to video it is in beta but it's uh, available for everybody this is portrait so what i want to do is i want to go over here and where it says aspect ratio, let's change that to vertical. So you can even take it further by having a first frame and an end frame. It will animate in between, but it can do that within the first frame. It's just how we prompt it. So we'll say something like animate this photo as a time lapse as the sun goes down and gives rich pastel sunset colors. If I just click generate, it's going to do its thing. So look at that. That's pretty cool, my friends. I have spent a lot of my years photographing the Sierra Nevada. What I was thinking is it could be fun to animate these images and kind of make this cinematic B-roll theme of Yosemite. So I have a ton of photos here. Let me start with this one. So this photo is actually landscape. So we'll go to widescreen. All right, and then I will get rid of that image and let's animate Yosemite Falls first. And we'll get a little more specific. As the clouds move from right to left over the waterfall, in the waterfalls are flowing and let's see what it does in the meantime let's fire up premiere pro i will click new project and then project name we'll say yosemite in motion in the bottom right here there's this little icon that says new item we're going to start a sequence let's just do landscape and then we can turn that into a reel if we want to here's our video that firefly rendered let's have a look at it this is pretty crazy y'all so I like this, I will download it. Let's go ahead and animate this one and then we will start importing our media. So I'll bring it in here. So let's see what it did. Oh, I always love this part where you get to see the results. So that's, oh, that's so cool. It added a highway, that's actually really funny. So we'll download that. Let's do this one, I like this one. It's panning, that's cool. I love what happened with the sun there. We will download that and let's do one more. Firefly, you're blowing my mind here. If you go to window and you go to essential sound, we have the option of adding music to this. So this is all through Adobe stock. You have a bunch of different moods here on the right. Let's say epic. Let's see what this sounds like. I think you should be able to hear this. Y'all, I think I'm gonna cry here. What I'm doing is I'm hitting the left bracket keys just to bring the sound down. I want to actually start from a black text to you know really make it dramatic. So what you can do is you can go to our little icon here where it says new item and then I can do black video. So one cool shortcut with Premiere is if I click and drag and I'm on a Mac. So if I hold the command key before I release the click, it's going to give some arrows on the left hand side. And what that's going to do, is it's going to ripple move everything so I can put it at the beginning of the timeline. So I'm releasing. Boom. Check that out. Now I have that at the beginning of my clip. I'll move the audio track over. And then from here, I want to add some text. There's a type tool, which is shortcut T. And then let's just say Yosemite in motion. So here's our graphic. It made a new video track and maybe we'll do a quick fade. So I need to find the opacity of this text. We'll make a keyframe, we'll move it over here. And we want it to be at 100% opacity because we want it to fade in. But then we'll move the timeline marker back here to the left and then we'll bring it to zero. And what you can do to make the animation smoother is you could just right click on these keyframes and then you could just go to ease in. And then we're gonna hack this. So if you hit shift D, that's going to apply an effect, which is a cross dissolve. So Yosemite in motion. There we go. It fades out. Cool. And then let's see how this is looking. Got to take it from the top. It's so beautiful. We did it, y'all. We did it. Just want to show you all how easy it is to create these days. The Adobe tools, the content creation, it's easier than ever. Until next time, everybody, I will see you on the next episode of Photo Talk. Bye, everybody.